So welcome, and what we'll be doing today is installing Duplicati using Portainer. And so Duplicati automatically backs up our server to the cloud or other hard drives. And a special thank you to all my patrons, who without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron and supporting the channel you love. So hi, I'm Jeff and this is Technodad Life. And on this channel, what we do is demystify technology and servers with video. Anything that I mentioned in the video today, I'll leave links in the description below. So let's get into it. And so what we'll need is a couple things to get started to install Duplicati. So one, we need a working portainer to install Duplicati on. Next is we need to go to Linux server Duplicati. And then finally, we need a Google Drive where we can actually store our images. So the setup that I'm going to be showing you today is basically back up your server to the cloud. But I will also mention in there that we will also be how to back it up to a disk. At the very end, we'll be showing how to restore your data from your, the cloud back to your server if disaster happens. So if we go back to Linux server Duplicati, we scroll down. And basically, we need to go to the Docker Compose section. And we're simply going to copy this. And then we're going to go to Portainer, click on Stacks, Add Stack. And then below Web Editor, we're going to paste in that information as plain text. Now let's go over what it says here. So this is the second version of this compose file. It's going to download the image Linux server Duplicati. The container name is going to be Duplicati for the PUID and the PIG. So normally on Open Media Vault, it's 1000 for the PUID and 100 on the PGID. For the time zone, put in your local time zone. Mine is America, New York. For command line arguments, you can go to the Duplicati website and get that. Now for volumes, what we need to do is get the absolute path off of our server for the volumes. So for us, we're going to go to Open Media Vaults, go to the shared folders, and then in the shared folders, uh, it will give us the relative path. And to get the absolute path, click on the down arrow next to relative, click on columns, click on, click on absolute path. And then this will show up. And then what we need to do is open up a word processing program and then type that in there because you can't copy it. And then once you've done that, then you can actually copy it. We'll go back to Duplicati. And so first we need to look at how our folders are set up. And there is our one share. We double click on that. And here you can see the folders inside of my one share. And so where we're going to store the configuration folders is in the app data folder. And the folder that we're going to copy is going to be the media folder. So if we go back to volumes, we're going to click paste our path there. And then actually we need to add in a folder name too. And then remove this little arrow right there. And so now that one's done. Next, we can just copy that whole thing. And we're going to paste it for backups and source. And then after each one, we're going to put slash dummy. And so what this will do is we'll create a dummy file. We're not going to actually use these folders. And then hit Enter. And then we need to put a dash. And we're going to paste our label again. And we're going to backspace. And if you remember, the folder that we want to copy is the media folder. And we're going to put colon slash media. And so what will happen is when we get into the Duplicati program, there will be a media folder there that then we can copy to the cloud. If you have any other folders you would want to copy, you would do them the same way. So if you want to back up to your own server, what you would need is a different disk. So the data would be on a different disk that you could then put that path here in the next to backups. 
And then we just need to do two things here. So first we need to put in a name and we're going to call that Duplicati. Then down below we're going to click on Enable Access Control and then we're going to click Deploy. Now this will take a few minutes to deploy and then it will set up the container. So get yourself a cup of coffee. So now our stack is deployed and if we click on containers, we can see here that it is running. And then if we click the logs, which is the piece of paper there, we scroll down and the services are started. So next we wanna go to our IP address or our server IP address and then colon 8200 to get to the UI. So copy the server IP address, paste that into a new tab, and then backspace colon 8200, and then hit enter. And so now we're into the first run setup, and if you just have a single account, click no. And so next what we're gonna do is show you how to do a backup and then as an added tip, how to do a restore at the very end. So click on add backup and then you want configure a new backup, click next. Name your folder that you want on your drive and so we'll call mine media. Then you can describe it. If you want encryption, you would put that here. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to have no encryption. Click next. And so on this tab, you can store your information on a local drive. So say you created a name for your separate drive, then you would find that here. We're gonna put a down arrow. We're going to go to Google Drive, but you can see you have lots of other alternatives here. Next, you can put the name of the folder that it will appear on Google. We'll just call it media. So next what we want to do is click on off ID and what you'll do is log in to Google and then it will give you a long complicated number that you will put here. And so here we would authorize Duplicati. And then once that's done doing that, you would click test connection. And so we don't have a media folder on our Google Drive. So we would click yes to create it now. So let's actually, before we click yes, let's go over to Google Drive. And you can see we have nothing created so far. Go back to Duplicati, click yes. And connection worked, so okay. Now down below under advanced options, you can pick other options you can add to it. I've never really had the need for that, but it's there if you need it. And then click next. And then, so what we can do is just ignore this first part because that's for Windows users. We're gonna click on computer. We're going to scroll down to the media folder because that's what we called ours. And so what that will do is back up that media folder to Google Drive. If we go down to filters, you can add filters here, but actually I like exclude. And so what this will do is you can hide, uh, will not copy hidden files, system files, temporary files, and you can limit how large your files are that you want to transfer. So say if you want to transfer books, but not uh, pictures or videos, you would just set it so the maximum size of any of your eBooks, but smaller than any of your videos or pictures, and then click next. And this automatically runs backups, and here it's 1 p.m. every day of the week. You just click which days of the week or what time you want. We're going to unclick that now because we're going to run a backup right now and then click next. And this sets the size of your volumes. And then backup retention limits you to a certain number of backups. You can either keep all, delete ones that are older than, or keep a specific number, smart backup, custom backup. I'll pick a custom number and we'll just say two. And so what this will do is keep two different versions of the same file at a time. And then if we click on an advanced options, Again, we have all sorts of different things we can try. I don't use any of those. And then click Save, and we're going to continue without encryption. Now we've set up a backup, but it's never been run. And again, let's go back to our Google Drive, and we can see nothing's there still. So if we go to Network, and then we're on our server, we're in a one share. we have an app data folder, downloads, Jeff, and media. And so our App data is going to be stored in here. Let's just take a look. And there's our Duplicati folder. 
There's our configuration and there's our dummy folder. So everything made it there fine. And so what we're going to copy is our media folder. And now we have two things in here, a PNG and a PDF. So if we go back to Duplicati and we click Run Now, you can see it says Starting Backup, and then it will verify and upload. And now you can see that it was done successfully. If we go to our Google Drive and we refresh the page, now we have a Duplicati here. And so these are our two items, but right now they're uh, zipped. So let's click on this one and let's unzip that. And so here you can see it created a separate folder that is the unzipped files. So let's go back to our server. Here's the bonus tip, how do we restore things? So let's copy those two things, or let's delete those two things. And yes, so now they are gone. We go back to Duplicati and then we click Restore. And so here it will give you some options. And so remember I called my Restore Media, so we're going to click on that. Click Next. So this is our Restore file. So if you have multiple restores, it will be listed there. And then we want all of our information copied back. So let's click Continue. We want to restore to our original location. If there's any with existing files, we can overwrite that. And if we want to, we can restore permissions. We're going to click Restore. And so our files have been successfully restored. And we got one warning. And let's take a look at that. And the warning is that we did a restore. So we can dismiss that. And now let's go to our network folders and there you can see the Duplicati restored the files in unzipped format back to our server. If you'd like to install other things or learn more about OpenB Vault and Docker, click on one of the links below and that will be your next step in your process.